approximately about 734 this evening DeKalb County officers received a 911 call in regards to a suspicious person in the area of Boulder Crest Woods and Boulder Crest Drive here at this intersection. The home came in through a mobile call. Uh, it was later determined from that phone call that the description of the home uh, was not given with a numerical address, but it was given as a gray home that was of brick. And officers responded to the scene uh, here at this intersection and uh, the second house just inside this corner was the house that they determined fitted that description in which the suspicious person was seen in that yard in that area. Uh, officers responded to the rear of the residence. Uh, once they were at the rear of the residence, they noticed that the screen door was unlocked and the back door was unlocked. From what we know, uh, just very preliminarily, they identified themselves. Shortly after that, within a matter of moments, gunfire took place. Uh, it was determined that during this gunfire, a dog was shot and killed inside the residence. Also, uh, the resident, a homeowner, was struck in the leg, and the, the cab officer was also shot as well. Uh, what we also have determined at this time is that the resident that these officers responded to is the wrong resident that was in question. And this is an ongoing uh, investigation a lot is yet to be determined here as to what and when shots were fired, how the officer received injuries, how the homeowner received injuries. Uh, but uh, we did respond to the wrong resident here tonight. And then these other circumstances unfolded. Uh, so what I have decided to do is to turn this case over to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation uh, they are on route to, uh, in, on scene here to conduct an investigation to make sure uh, that whatever occurred at this resident, which is later determined to be the wrong resident in residence in question, uh, they will determine that through their investigation. That's all I know at this time. It is very preliminary. The officer uh, is critical. He lost a lot of blood, we understand, uh, and the homeowner uh, who was struck in the leg is also at the hospital as well receiving treatment. So our prayers and thoughts go out to both of them involved, uh, but this is going to be a case that is going to be uh, thoroughly investigated and looked into. It appears that the officers came here with the intent based on the information that they had of a suspicious person being in and around the resident in question, and it was later determined that the home uh, that we did go to was the wrong address. So I'll take one or two questions from you, but understand uh, I'm very limited in terms of what I can say because I don't know very much uh, because this is going to be turned over to the GBI. Can you tell us where the officer was shot? Uh, it was our understanding the officer took a real bad uh, wound to the thigh. He lost a lot of blood. He was considered in critical condition. He's uh, uh, under surgery as we speak. Can you tell us for certain the officer fired shots at the homeowner and the owner, homeowner fired shots at the officer? You know, at this point, that's what is still to be determined uh, because the only thing we know right now, once the officers got to the back door, some, something happened back there uh, where there was gunfire. So was there a we gun can't. At the scene? We have not been inside. That scene is being held right now for uh, the GBI for them to conduct their investigation. Were there officers coming in the front door as well, or were they just coming in the back door? They came around back of the resident, and uh, that's where all this took place. Did more than one officer fire? That I'm not certain of uh, either at this point. Uh, we had uh, three that were initially here uh, during the shooting itself, I believe. As of now, any, two, any action against the other two officers, and were they injured as well? Uh, no, no. No, none of them were transported. They received no injuries. What about the homeowner and his condition? Uh, far as I know, he's in surgery as well, too. We are in contact with his girlfriend who was here at the house with him tonight and did make the 911 call. 
So we're in contact. She made the 911 call after the shootings happened because the, the initial call came from a mobile phone, correct? It, yes, after the shooting happened. And, and, we, and here's the important thing that we must note uh, is that the officers responded to this intersection, the second house just inside this corner, and the home that was that met the description that was given to them, this is where they thought the, the potential burglary was taking place. And the color of the house and the texture being brick fitted that description uh, because no numerical address was given. However, once they got here, we later determined uh, that this is the, not the address that was in question and it was related to the burglary itself. Are the other officers who responded to the initial scene going to be on administrative leave as well? Yes, everybody will be placed on administrative leave that was involved pending this investigation. So three total officers? Right now, three total officers, yes. Okay. I had a question over here. Yeah. Yes, are you saying, uh, describe again, at the back door, did officers fire shots? Well, we know somewhere uh, inside, uh, or right inside the house, shots were fired. I can't tell you specifically where that shooting took place, uh, but what we do know at this time that uh, there was a shooting, and we also know we have a homeowner uh, that was struck, and we also have a police officer that was critically injured as well, too. But sure. officers did, can you say, did an officer actually fire, discharge his weapon? Yes, officers did okay. discharge their weapons, yes. And did they go How inside the house, or is this all? Well, that I don't know. I really don't know, but there was gunfire. I just cannot tell you who fired, who shot, who did not, because it's so early yet in this investigation. And these are going to be the uh, part of the investigation in which the GBI is going to follow through on. And to be fair, did the officers walk inside the house? We believe they were just inside of the house. You know, what's very uh, 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 complicated about this is the fact that they did respond to a location in which did meet the description that was given to them uh, by the caller and by 911. Uh, and when they came to the rear of the house, uh, there was an unlocked screen, an unlocked door. That in and of itself would probably suggest to anyone that it was possible that it could be intruders inside, but it turned out not to be the case. Uh, so somewhere uh, at the rear of that home, uh, something happened, some things happened that we're yet to determine. And uh, this investigation is going to be turned over to the GBI so that we can make sure that uh, we remain very transparent and open during the course of this investigation. Because typically, we would take this shooting ourselves because it's not fatal. Uh, but we have made the decision that because of the circumstances that involved this shooting, uh, it probably would be to the best interest of, uh, to the community, to ourselves and everyone here that we have an outside investigation done uh, so that there would be no question in regards to what took place. Do you know where the right house is? Uh, yes, the other house was a little bit further down the street we uh, have been in contact uh, uh, with that end of the investigation, but... You said the back door and the screen were unlocked. Were they mm -hmm. actually open when the police arrived, or were they just unlocked? They were unlocked. Uh, I'm not sure if any of them were open, but they were unlocked, but the officers did identify themselves. Uh, but what happened after that is yet to, to be determined. So uh, I'm going to wrap it here, but our thoughts and prayers go out to the homeowner. And our thoughts and prayers go out to the officer who uh, suffered a severe critical injury here tonight and lost a lot of blood. And we just hope that uh, both of them recover well. Thank you all very much.